Hey, hello there. Good evening um, and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Ryan. Love presenting the show. Uh, we're into our 11th year now. And every Tuesday we bring you some of the hottest deals in the cruise industry. Exclusive offers, amazing destinations and incredible prices and some little free gifts tonight as well. But... I wish, you know, I wish you could have seen him. You know when the, the theme tune comes in for Planet Cruise? I'm sure you all know it. As it was playing, Justin was standing, swinging his hips. You want to recreate that moment? You uh, want to recreate? Not, I'm still in a state of shock. Are you actually. sure? Yeah. I don't mind. Well, go on then. I was going to go in with Chinese New Year, but if you want to go in with a Gino on, dance. Go on. So that, we don't have music anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all in the chinos. It's all in the chinos. It, it, hey, amazing moves. I got one thing to say to you, Shen Ying Guela. Happy New Year, Chinese Happy New Year. Yeah. Or if you want to go for the Cantonese version, Gong Hai Fat Choi. I'm trying. I'm thinking. <laughs> no, we, we, we actually rehearsed this earlier, I've just forgot. Um, I'll teach you later on, but it's a big thing. We've got Chinese New Year. We've got a cruise coming up a little bit later on, which is for next year and celebrating Chinese New Year. So we'll, we'll talk about that later. We've got a cruise tonight where you can be on the maiden voyage. So not the maiden season, we're talking well, the, the, maiden, the maiden voyage. The first time that it sets sail from Southampton across to Genoa, you can actually stop in, off in Lisbon, Barcelona, or go all the way to and Genoa on the maiden voyage. Looking forward to that. Um, I, I'm looking forward to the all-inclusive. The all-inclusive? Yeah. There's <laughs> oh, a change. Why? Why uh, there, there, there's a change. <laughs> no, but honestly, there's an amazing Morella deal that is all-inclusive with a fabulous itinerary. Yes. And the price starts, let me get this right, I think it's under £800. Amazing. Talking about well, itinerary, Scott. we've actually got one of the hi most highly sought after itineraries, the UKRs, on one of the best love ships and one of the best value and quality cruise lines. Moira from Cruise and Maritime is going to be on the sofa a little bit later on. Uh, but uh, I thought I recognised the Teddy. But, yeah, <laughs> we've got some, yeah. Seymour. Yeah. Seymour. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll be giving some of these away for the first bookings and that. And what? the funny thing is, you say Seymour, he's seen it all. He really has. <laughs> he really has seen it all. Um, but we've got a confession tonight. We've go got on. something that's not a cruise. This is really exciting. It is. Go, go on. Honestly, I've, go been, ta I've been talking with... with so, so, so the lady that, that I work with on these particular shows, Kat, we've been talking about this particular brand for a long time. I was lucky enough to be with some of the most senior people from the group that owns this particular yacht collection. We have got a yacht. There's only a minute... There's, sorry, a maximum of 300 passengers on board with 246 crew. It's 26,000 tonnes. Just the interior is taking 18 months to two years to complete. I'm going to be introducing you to the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection tonight. And, and you know, the team have kept all the pictures and the videos away from me, so <laughs> I, honestly, they won't let me see them. Oh, I've shy. seen them. But I've every, seen them. Every, <laughs> just as if they're amazing. So it is such a great show. I'll be honest, I know January was busy and it was amazing. We think the show tonight is outstanding. But we've also extended our uh, January sale as well, so we, that means we've still got deposits from just a pound per person. You can still spread the cost with our 0% uh, interest payment plan as well. And we, we really want you to give Planet Cruise a call tonight because we will always offer you a price match guarantee. That is really important. And exclusive deals on your favourite cruise holidays. Now, we also have, we love our live events as well. I'm um, just I've been part of many of these. And this is our River and Ocean Luxury Cruise Show. So if you want to learn more, it's on Saturday the 16th of March at the Old Thorns Hotel. And all you need to do to register is go to the Planet Cruise website. They have all the www.planetcruise.com, of course. But we are going to start off, and I, you know, I really don't get enough holiday allowance, as many of you know, because oh. I... <laughs> But I, Did well, somebody start playing the violin? Well, actually, can I be honest? I don't have enough holidays left for this one. because I, I was finishes in April. But I would love to do this because it's, it's not the maiden season. This is the maiden voyage. It's the maiden voyage, voyage. yeah. And, and particularly for this brand and for Bellissima, great innovations and technology on board. Things like the Yacht Club, which is an exclusive area for Yacht Club members. This is a phenomenal ship and a great brand. But do you know what's really interesting? It was something that you mentioned earlier on when we were going through this. And you're like... Oh, I'm not too sure. I've never sailed with MSC. And you know what? Sometimes in the cruise industry, it's a good thing that you have what they call brand loyalty. Yeah. And, you know, you go back time and time again with celebrity. So once you've seen these ships and you've gone out to the other side... Oh, 
It's the food I mean, has been completely transformed, and the actual I mean, style. I was going to say, to, to be fair, I have cruised with many different companies. Yeah, yeah but you're very but brand loyal, which is, is. There's a few I haven't cruised with still, and one of them's MSC. Yeah. Uh, one of them's. Um, well, it's coming up later. Oh, but, the Risk Carlton Yacht yeah. Collection. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there's another one. But um, when I speak to, to uh, viewers, everyone talks about the ships, and I know I'm going to love the ships. Yeah. Have a look at this. Brand new maiden voyage. I, I've been on a maiden voyage before and it's very exciting. Uh, well, the excitement, I tell you, the drinks package, have you seen that? That's not an error on the screen. Drinks packages, oh, well, premium, from just £10 per well, person. Actually, well, I'm sold already. There we go. There. <laughs> but this, this gives you an idea of, of what the Bellissima is going to look like. And she is going to be absolutely beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, I, th I think this is the thing. If you like Mediterranean culture, Mediterranean food, and look at the interior here, modern, fresh, contemporary, then you'll absolutely love this. I've got a, a, a good friend of mine who's actually cruised with MSC three times now. Every time he watches this show, he's like, well, you're going to do the seaside tonight. You're going to do this one. Are you going to do that one? This is an opportunity to be on the maiden. Now, the actual maiden voyage itself, just to, to point out, we're featuring the five night, which stops in Lisbon. And this is where you disembark. But you can go on to Barcelona. You can go on to Genoa. So there is different options. So please, when you call for this one tonight, ask your cruise specialists and tailor it to your, your, um, your, your, I mean, your requirements. She is going to be not just so beautiful, but so up to date yeah. uh, in terms of technology. Um, there's going to be so much choice and variety. Well, talk, talking of technology, um, they've actually got something called the in-cabin assistant, now called Zoe. So it's, it's, it's a bit like uh, a lot of the market leading yeah, uh, yeah. assistants that you can call them. Um, and all you have to say is, OK, Zoe, and ask them any question. And they give you f the feedback on the cruise, whether it's uh, booking tours or uh, whatever it may be. Uh, you've got the in-cabin assistant. You've also got the LED sky dome and the, the water part there. It just looks awesome. I mean, to be able to go on the maiden voyage, mm. not the season, the very first voyage, for under £500 is incredible. And I'll be honest, you know, that drinks package from £10 per person per night does tempt me. Yeah. I just can't get the holiday. But did you see that Cirque du Soleil at sea? Now that I would love Cirque as well. du Soleil. How many people, oh, I'd love to go and Cirque du Soleil and go, you know, go down to, to London or go to Paris or, or wherever. Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah Vegas, nice. Vegas, yeah. Why not do this? And that's the great yeah. thing. There is, and there's so much here. And one, one of the things, I'm just going to put it out there tonight. I'm trying to remove any objections that anybody's got. Sometimes people say about a maiden voyage, they're like, yeah, but what's it? it's the first cruise. What if they haven't got you know, all the restaurants and stuff like that? What nine times out of ten happens in the cruise industry is when the ships leave the Mediterranean and then come back to Southampton, they have a shakedown cruise. So all of the crew are working as if this passage is on board. Yeah. So all of those and little things are ironed we, out before we she set out, sail. Justin knows this kind of information because he did work in the cruise in industry for many, many Six years. years. Six and, years. And to be fair, I actually launched probably, it was, I was part of the launch team for four cruise ships. I think it was four. So, so you know. Yeah. I think it's amazing. <laughs> should we, should we, should do you know what I'll do? Them? I'll pull a sickie and then I can book it. <laughs> No, I can't do that, can I? It's one of those things that if, <laughs> if you're in any other industry apart from TV, but you tell the nation, I think yeah. everybody knows now. I know, I'm only joking, <laughs> but I'd love to do this in the world. Anyway, it's a lovely little light in because it's out of Southampton, really yep. nice and easy. Um, Just imagine the sail away from Southampton. Oh, the first sail away yeah. ever from Southampton. I would say the they, they push the boat out quite literally. But the first port of call is La Coruña. Yeah. You do of get course, a day at sea, don't you, though? Yeah, you get a day at sea, but the first port is La Coruña. Uh, and this is great for your tours. You go to Santiago de Compostela. Um, you can also uh, stay local and just draw up the markets in this particular port. Um, it's just lovely little cobbled streets that you can have a little bit of a wander around, get lost around the back. Uh, this is also famous for its history because this is where the Invincible Armada uh, sets sail from. So if you know your Francis Drake stories, then uh, you'll know this. Then we've got another relaxing day at sea before we go into Lisbon. Lisbon's fantastic. You dock underneath a bridge that looks like San Francisco. This is actually known as the 25th of April Bridge. And opposite, so where they were taking the photo from, is actually, it looks like Christ the Redeemer from Brazil. And it's actually, there's, there's a link there, you'll have to look into it, but I highly recommend, because you've got an overnight here, get one oh, of the trams, wow. you go through three different districts, you can wander down to the Torre de Belém, or the Monument of Discoveries, 
Um, but go through the districts on the tram and then pick where you're going to go out in the evening. And this is great. You've got the financial district, you've got the, the, the sort of central district, and then the bars and restaurants. And it is a bridge. It is a, I've only been there once on the cruise as it happens. It's a great... It's great fantastic. Thing. And bear in mind, this, this is the, the sort of end of the maiden cruise itself. But you can then continue it to go on to Barcelona. You can then continue to go on to Genoa. But so ask, you ask just the cruise, ask cruise specialist. Yeah. And they, you know, if you want a longer... A cruise, they can arrange that for you. But this is the five nighter. Let's just see this beautiful ship. She is going to be stunning. Uh, she is called the Blissima, of course. And the options on board, whether it comes to dining, bars, entertainment, places to chill out, places to have fun. There is just so much. Yeah, they've got the Formula One simulators. They've got Cirque du Soleil for the kids as well. They've got activities between, um, you know, like your three and eleven year olds can use the Lego, so Lego branded activities. And then there's there's more uh, grown up scenes for, for for the teenagers. And then for the real grown ups, there's there's the yacht club. And like I said, if you if you like going to an airport and going into the the private lounge. Um, then you'll love the yacht club. I'd be in there in a heartbeat. I'd be like, nah, that's me. I'm in the yacht I, club. I will definitely put MSC right up on my list there because you say the feedback we get about their ships is incredible uh, and they just seem to get better and better and better and what an amazing price let's just remind you what's included so you're going to be one of the very first to sail on board MSC's uh, newest ship this is her maiden voyage I mean that's so exciting like, making history with her uh, a free oh I forgot to mention you we've got a free outside to balcony upgrade I believe the balcony is only 549 so 50 pounds more um, Great all-inclusive drinks, and it's a really good package from just £10 per person. In fact, I'll show that in a second. So hang on, five nights, 50 quid per person for all-inclusive oh, drinks. Really? <laughs> I know. I'll just say that out loud. I know, I know what you're thinking. You've spent that in a night and not. Um, <laughs> and then you can Don't forget... If I you knew can, around, I would. <laughs> you would, you'd double it. Um, and also, you can add on a two-night post-cruise at Lisbon Stay as well from £100 per person. Now, drinks-wise, an, an amazing selection. I'll um, let you go through this because you, you're, you're a bit of an expert <laughs> when it comes to this one. So you get a wide range of cocktails, spirits, liqueurs, aperitifs there, wines by the glass, draft and uh, bottled beers, sodas, fruit juices and bottled mineral water. Even things like your energy drinks as well and uh, your special uh, coffees, hot chocolate delights and uh, organic tea all up to the value of $12. But, Justin's practising his dance moves over there, by the way. It's going to take a little bit of time. But um, anyway, we've also got an amazing deal for you that's also from MSC. So if you, um, if you are looking for a cruise towards the end of the year and into January and February of next year, you can actually do this itinerary, and this looks amazing. We did actually, I don't mind saying we featured it um, a couple of weeks ago, and it was the top seller of the night. So if you, if you missed that, if you're still thinking of booking, so we've got an exclusive deposit there from a pound per person. Uh, you can upgrade to all-inclusive from just £18 per person per night. Brilliant flights, London, Manchester, Birmingham, and Glasgow at no extra supplement. And look at that, Dubai, Abu Dhabi there, just to name a few. So a brilliant United Arab Emirates uh, cruise there from Dubai. But look who's back, a lady that we always love to have on the show, Moira. Hello. So great to have you with it's us. It's lovely to be here and great to see you. Well, whenever you're here, first of all, we have a very busy show. Good, we like that. Um, and Cruise and Maritime, I didn't realise, but you're here tonight and you are now celebrating your 10th year. We are. So it's our 10th wow. anniversary this year, which is really exciting. And in that time, in just 10 years, we've actually grown to become Britain's leading independent cruise line. I mean, that is amazing. We've got to be doing something right. Yeah. You're doing a lot right. Again, we get great feedback Absolutely. from our customers. Yes. Um, and you've actually got an offer tonight. I'm just looking here. Um, that is available just for the next couple of days in it terms is. of price, yes? It is. It's a bit of a last minute flash sale with some extra discounts, amazing value for money, but you do need to get in very quickly. Do you mind me asking how much extra discount we're getting? We're, we're, what will the price go up by? Because it goes up on the 7th, is that? Well, it will go up from sort of close of business on Thursday the 7th. So if you were booking Friday, you're going to pay an extra 15%. Wow. So it is definitely worth 
booking tonight. Booking tonight. Or if you can't book tonight, book tomorrow book at the latest. Early yeah. To get the best deal. Yeah, that is incredible, isn't it? And there's yeah. a great price, really yeah. good price. Uh, for, for me, it's the itinerary, and it's also this ship because many people know that the P and O Arcade. This is the first ship I ever set sail on. And what you guys have done with this ship is absolutely phenomenal. When you hear about people you know, refurbishing it, this is exquisite. I mean, talk us through, Mark, because she looks. Amazing. Isn't she is, she? and she is my favourite ship. I. She's I, your flagship. Though, she's our ship. flagship. Yeah. She's my personal favourite. I go on my own family holidays on board her. So, yes, she's um, she's certainly my favourite. Fourteen hundred passengers, so classed as a medium mid size, size yeah. mid size, but still with very much a personal and intimate experience. And this is quite a British feel as well. Yes. Right? So we're a British cruise line, and I think at the moment. It's a bit of an obvious question, I suppose, but the, you know, not everyone's aware. They, you know, especially there's so many American cruise lines out there, but we. We are British run, British owned, and of course, things like sterling is the currency on board yeah. our ship, which at the moment in the current climate is actually it's a good really thing. important. <laughs> yeah. um, we sail out of 14 UK departure ports, so even though this cruise we're talking about tonight is from Tilbury, we do actually have lots of other options if somebody's looking for a more regional departure. And we are in the main adults only, no children under the age of 16, so that's going to be really appealing for yeah. a lot of people. If they want to avoid the kids, then they can do. Then they can do on this one. So, um, again, the food really good really good we've invested very heavily in our cuisine over the last few years great choice of dining options we also have speciality dining whether you want a, a great steak in our grill restaurant so just an Indian the fusion images. As well. I mean the ship looks amazing yeah. you've really done a lot with her haven't you we have she's changed a lot since she was the, her previous um, ships and she's got huge and great attention to detail very Again, you are with. another brand that I'm dying to try, actually. You need to. Um, need and to I'm actually with thinking, us. I think my, I'd like to go with my mum. My mum, I think she's... Hi, mum, by the way. I know she'll be watching. <laughs> she likes you, by the way, Justin, as well. You didn't tell me she was watching tonight. Yeah. I put a tie on. I, oh, no, no. She, she likes you as you are. But um, my mum, she's been on a lot of cruises, loves cruising, but she's at an age, she wants a mid-sized ship, and I think she'd really like the British feel as well. She would, yes. Yeah. And, of course, if she would decide to travel on her own, we do have 150 double cabins for single occupancy on Columbus. Wow. So you don't even need to go with her. You can send her on her own, and she'd have an amazing <laughs> time. I think, well, to be honest, I mean, we, sometimes we share a cabin, but it might be nice for us both to have our own Absolutely, single cabins. Absolutely, why not? And then yeah. you've got your own space. And we look after our singles on board as well. So you so. get a double occupancy? It's, a, it's just a normal, yeah. it's a normal double cabin. But for a single but person. for a single person. And so at brilliant prices. Really good prices, yes. Wow. Very, 150 very cabins. So Sometimes good. cruise lines are just to have a handful. Yeah, just one or two. That is... So we do look after our singles on board. Yeah. But so that's really important. And you're one is. of the few cruise companies that I think put e the extra effort. Yeah, we into try and, and yeah, definitely look after them and, and spend time with them. When anyway, we, we <laughs> I was going to say, we better set sail, shall we? <laughs> this, this, this is actually my in law's first cruise experience on, on Cruise and Maritime. And they my father-in-law really is, is ex-army chef mm -hmm. and catering call. So to, to impress him food-wise, he was like, the food was fantastic. He loved really the curries good. as well. So for, for our Gary, really good. So our like Gary. That, yeah, our Gary. Really anyway, um, yeah, we're, we're heading out of Tilbury and we're heading over to Rotterdam. Of course, it's the, the largest port in, uh, in Europe. Very, very modern after the Second World War. There was not much left. So they, they really went to town on building very modern architecture. Um, so you've got uh, a few little uh, suburban areas that have still got this this sort of real uh, what I call old school charm, and that's Delfshaven. Um, so head down there. Also, you can uh, head off to the Kuchenhof Gardens. So if you want to see the tulips and the and the bowl fields, that's great. And also, if you do want to go a little bit further, uh, then you go to some of the Van Gogh museums as well, which is about an hour away. Day at sea, and then we're off to the Orkney Islands. We're off to Scotland, and I love this. It sounds like some, something out of the Lord of the Rings, the Ring of Brodga. I'll probably pronounce that incorrectly now, but this just looks fantastic. It's got a big ornithology uh, following here, so if you like your birds uh, of the feather variety, then this is definitely, definitely want to go there. Um, then we're off to Tobermory. You'll recognise this one. Hey, what's the story in Tobermory? Yeah, coloured houses. See? Do you recognise that from the children's TV programme? No. <laughs> sure, she, she, he's, he's, I he's don't. Like, I'm no, I know it's Balamory, but it's oh, Tobermory. Know, okay, what's the story in I'm, I'm being slow. There you go. Anyway, there's a whiskey distillery there, so you'll, you'll uh, be interested. <laughs> Again, if you want to see birds, this is a great opportunity. And wildlife tours, because you've got whales and dolphins in this neck of the woods. Then we're off to Belfast. 
And sometimes, you know, when you go to Ireland, you go, oh, I, I wish we were going to Dublin. Well, guess what? We're going to Dublin afterwards. So we're doing both of them. But Belfast, you can get a chance to see Giants Causeway. You've got the City Hall. You've got the Titanic Memorial there as well. Um, then we're off to Dublin. You can't go to Dublin without a pint of the black stuff. And you've got, yeah, lovely pint oh, of Guinness there. Oh, yes. There's something about Guinness. I have to have it cold in a pub. I can't have it at home. It doesn't that. feel the same. I understand, I understand that as well. Yeah, yeah. Just, was it 90 seconds for it to settle and just get the head? And you have to have anyway, Guinness in Dublin. Oh, you do. Other Always. stouts are available, but when you're, when you're in, in Ireland, you've got to do it. Of course, you can go to uh, the Dublin Castle as well, Trinity College, plenty of C&D there. Then we're off to the Isles of Scilly, and this, this is where it gets really unusual. Some of these ports I have never seen in two years on this itinerary. I don't know whether that's perhaps Glen or Keith. Do you know, I'm embarrassed to say, a lot of these places I've never been to, which is ridiculous. But yeah. I think that's the same for a lot of it, isn't yes. it? Yes. The Isle of Scilly is 15 minutes away from Cornwall. And there's so many beautiful places on our doorstep, yeah. but because they're on our doorstep, we don't take the time to visit them. However, British Isles cruising is our most popular cruise destination, believe it or not. So it's great that we bought one for It really season. is. So uh, sorry. Just yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Isle of Scilly. There's, there's, there's. Uh, Isle of Scilly. Sorry. Um, <laughs> all the all, all two thousand two hundred inhabitants now are going to be writing in. Um, but there's actually five islands, and it's almost like stepping back in time. Everything over there, very, very relaxed. Great people. Um, Eighty percent of the people actually live in this port itself. So uh, you, you go to the best place. Then we're off to somewhere, and this is great opportunity. Plymouth. I've got a very good friend of mine, actually cruise director for P&O, that lives down there when he's not on board the ships. Uh, and the Barbican, great area. There's a great uh, gin distillery down there, the Black, the Black Friars Distillery. Get me teeth into gear. And of course, historically, this is where uh, some of the greatest voyages have, have happened because this is um, where the Mayflower left from. So uh, this, there's, there's a lot of history there. Um, then we're just going to mix it up from Plymouth. We're going to go over to uh, Normandy in France and go to Honfleur. Uh, of course, this the, the main thing to do is just go to the, uh, either around the town or do the D-Day landing beaches. There's some great historical monuments here, and if you want to take a step back in time, what a great way to do it. You're going to be finishing up by coming back into Tilbury. I'm telling you now that one of the most desirable itineraries, oh, it's amazing. unusual it's ports, it's really lovely. If, if you like having city breaks in the UK, why not do a week, well, ten days of city breaks back to back? Um, and have, have you seen the price? I, I, honestly, that if you're thinking, is that five? Is that a five and eight? No, it's a five. The price starts at five nine nine. Now, um, the exclusive tonight is also not just this. Um, you know, we talk about this amazing price that obviously we've got tonight, but the first ten bookings will receive a cruise and maritime teddy bear as well. A Seymour. Seymour. Absolutely. Seymour. Seymour. Yeah, Seymour. <laughs> uh, hang on, it's a winter flash pressure. This is really important at home. You need to book by the 7th of February, so that's close of business on the 7th, for these exclusive prices. They go up 15% 15% from the 8th. From the 8th. So um, well worth getting in early. So you've got to, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of like repeating myself, but it is important. I'd hate you to pay more when you don't have to. We've got an exclusive deposit starting for just a pound, and the single special warrior starting at 999, and that is a double That's opportunity. That's a double cabin. A cabin, I can't say that word tonight. Occupancy. Occupancy, why well, can't I say that? Double um, And no fly cruise. Moira, I think that is brilliant. It's really good value. And if you were trying to do that independently and trying to get around the UK and the Scottish Islands, it would cost you an awful lot more money. So well, it's all about value tonight. Well, Kat, our executive producer of the show, she's staying in a, in a really sort of like, you know, very mm. average sort of hotel next week uh, near us here. And that's £800 per person. Exactly. And it's probably bed and breakfast as well. Yeah. Which, of course, we're full board. Exactly. So great value for money. Um, Thank you so You're much. Welcome. And thank you for those massive savings. I think that's going to be really busy, actually. Always welcome. And I love the dress as well. Thanks very much. Right, yeah. Red today. Uh, and I will cruise with you in the near future. Please I really do. will. So I'll speak to my mum about it. You. I think we'd love it. I really do. Uh, anyway, um, we've got so much still to show you. And we've got a luxury corner for you right now. Now, this is um, Oceania Cruises. And they are known for... Premium luxury. Uh, I have cruised them myself. They are incredible. Um, we've got a brilliant seven-nighter on board the stunning marina. 10th of May is the date. Loads of freebies on this one. You can choose from either free drinks or $400 on board spend or excursions. You get free Wi-Fi. We've got gratuities included on this one. Uh, Specialised dining. There is no cover charge. All return flights, of course, and a beautiful itinerary there. In, uh, including Corsica, Florence and Pisa, from Livorno, of course, 
uh, Sorrento, uh, Amalfi there. It's stunning, absolutely stunning. And a balcony there is under £2,600. If you are interested, there's a special ID number for that one, which is 205203. But they are incredible. So I've cruised myself. They are incredible. In fact, true story, the ships are so good, Sean and Hayley Green, two of our presenters, <laughs> I know they've been on say. them twice and yeah. never got off the ship. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah that takes some fantastic. doing, does it? Uh, now, Justin, oh, my word. Well, what, what is what? today? We're, we're, set, we're celebrating Chinese New Year. What a, a great way of doing it. But celebrating it for next year, whilst you're in Singapore, have one of the greatest times in Singapore. Because we, we always talk about Singapore and it's either an overnight or one day. You spent a day in well, St. Tyler's Island. Yeah, I was on a cruise and I was only a day and I felt really cheated. And a lot of viewers have actually um, messaged and says, have you got any longer stays in Singapore? So this is five nights land. Yep. And then a five night cruise. And you get these amazing tours and trips included. Don't yeah, you? and again, it's it's celebrating Chinese New Year. So I'm going to teach you it. So repeat after me. So Xin. Xin. Yin. Yin. Kwai. Kwai. Le. Le. Xin Yin. Xin Kwai La. Xin Yin Kwai La. Or Go Hai Fat Choi. Go Hai Fat Choi. Yeah. Happy New Year. It's as simple as ah. that. Yeah? There you go. But to be fair, so that massive, massive celebrations at the moment. Starts on the 1st of January, ends at the end of the first lunar cycle, so the, the 5th today. And it used to be a case of celebration and praying to the gods for a good harvest. But then there was a monster. And nobody could, fa could face this monster apart from a little boy. And he took his firecrackers outside and scared the monster away. So the next day, what they did, they were like... Well, let's celebrate the little, the little boy by setting off some more firecrackers. So this, this is how That's the hilarious. legend started. And, I mean, I've got so much stuff on Chinese New Year. It's, it's unbelievable. But Singapore, oh, what a place. What and, a place. And what are we going to be doing there? Because we, we get all the highlights in this one, don't we? Well, let me, let me give you a breakdown. And when I say a breakdown, I have got a day-by-day -day breakdown. First day, after breakfast, you get a full day tour of Singapore. So you get to go to Little India which is phenomenal. You get to camp on Glam as well, and the waterfront where the Merlion is. So if you get some fantastic photos there. You get a lunch at a local restaurant before going to Clark Key. And I'm telling you now, Clark Key in the evening, that's the place to be at. Um, and there's a fantastic architectural masterpiece, um, which is a temple, so you get a chance to see that there. Afterwards, you're going back to the hotel, and in the evening, you enjoy dinner at a local restaurant. So that's breakfast, lunch and dinner, all included with tours throughout the day. That's day one. Day two, you get a chance to go to the Singapore Zoo. Which I have been this to, This is just amazing. brilliant. The, the, whole, the whole feeling there is completely different. It's, it it's about openness and it's about, you know, yeah. when they say about zoos, a bit about habitat, this is something oh, no, just it's, it's on a, another, yeah. another level. And you actually have breakfast there. You actually have an unforgettable... unforgettable is, you a, is it a jungle breakfast? A jungle breakfast. <laughs> A jungle breakfast with a family of orangutans. So I don't think they're going to be sat at the table. <laughs> but uh, you get a chance to spend the morning in the zoo there. And then later on, I mean, you get a chance to see um, the rainforest environment. You get the open concept of the, uh, the actual zoo itself. And then later on that afternoon, you're back to the hotel. That's breakfast, lunch and dinner included. We haven't even finished yet. Day three. You get a chance to go and see Gardens by the Bay. Oh, we talk about yeah, this tour a lot. Yeah, we saw those images, yeah. didn't we? So you yeah. get to see the Flower Dome, you get to see the Cloud Forest, you get to see these wonderful structures, which are actually concrete and metal, but then the flowers and the lights and the LEDs are actually grown around them. God. It's just phenomenal. You get a chance to go to the River Festival in the afternoon, and this is where you get to celebrate the Chinese New Year. So at the end of New Year, the celebrations, you have these wonderful lanterns, and this is where you get a chance to do it. You also get breakfast, lunch, and dinner included. And the final two days in Singapore, you have to explore at your own leisure. We still haven't even touched raffles. We haven't gone to the Marina Bay Sands. We haven't gone to some r great rooftop bars and great steak so restaurants that, as well. That's, um, I think you agree, the most comprehensive <laughs> land stay we've had in Singapore. And it's five nights in a five-star hotel. Yeah. Then you embark the spectacular Quantum of the Seas for a five-night cruise. Um, and this is one of the most talked about ships oh, yeah. in the world, isn't it? Straight away, I mean, you know, Royal Caribbean, it's it's the destination fun. You've got the H, uh, H2O zone. You saw the uh, surf simulator there. You've got Ripcord, uh, which is iFly, so it's indoor skydiving. You've still got the climbing frames and all of the, the other signature things that Royal Caribbean are known for, uh, just like your... Um, 
uh, your roller skating. Uh, 270 is a, a lounge using LED technology, and the lights in there is just absolutely brilliant. You got the North Star as well, which is yeah, like saw a, that, yeah. yeah, just at the beginning. It's, it's it's like imagine one of the pods off of the Ferris wheels that you have in these big locations, but it swings out over the actual ship itself, so you get 360 degree views. It's just fantastic, really is. The food is great. As I said, you've got the bumper cars and roller skating uh, as well. Johnny Rockets, um, uh, a great pizzeria as well, which is Sorrento's. So much. This is destination fun. So, so that just gives you a little taster of the stunning ship. But you've also got a spectacular itinerary. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the cruise. So we're uh, we're on the ship. Uh, what's our first port then? We've got to Kuala Lumpur. We're going of to course KL. we are. Funny thing is, usually we feature everything. This is like the the, the other way around because this could be really quick now. <laughs> KL, go and see the Petronas Towers. Petronas, Petronas. Um, it is just superb, absolutely superb. Go to the Skywalk. Um, and if you get there early enough, then you can get the tickets to go out there. It really is worth doing. Then we're off to uh, Malaysia again. Stay, sorry, stay in Malaysia. We're off to Penang. Penang. Um, this legend has it that they wanted to clear the island, and the way that they cleared the island was fired a cannon of gold coins out into the, the undergrowth. And as they were sort of going through the undergrowth to find the coins, they were clearing, clearing all the mangroves and stuff like that. There's a great butterfly farm here and uh, um, lovely, lovely temples as well. Then we're off to Thailand. We're off to Phuket. This is is. Quite literally, it's James Bond country. So if you remember the man with the golden gun, the secret lair, yeah, yeah. this is where they actually filmed it. Emerald green forest, crystal clear waters, absolutely stunning. You have a relaxing day at sea and then you're back into Singapore and that wraps I, up your 12-night cruise. Because of what a trip of a lifetime. Look at the price. I mean, I think to get all of that for under £2,000 is incredible. Now, this is what's included. So just to remind you, you will be spending... Chinese New Year in Singapore. You've got that five night hotel stay. That's going to be a beautiful hotel with its five star in Singapore. And you've got all of these great experiences like the Gardens by the Bay, the Singapore Zoo, of course, uh, the Chinese New Year Festival, and return flights based on London there. So, what a spectacular way to celebrate Chinese New Year in 2020. Um, don't forget, as ever, you can either give us a call, 0802502662, or go on the Planet Cruise website, planetcruise.com. Um, are we going to be open until 10.30, Sanjay? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hold that thought. Hang Hold on. That thought. Now, we like when the horn sounds, <laughs> we like it. Um, now, we'll be honest. Um, Kat, who's our executive producer, she did say there's a really great deal coming up with Pino, but we haven't seen it, but she's promised us it's amazing. So here it comes. Let's see how amazing it is. Here it comes on the sound of those oh, steel drums. Right, right, sit back, hang on. I'm getting my glasses, I need them now. Um, that is ridiculous. 13, that does say, yeah, it's 30 nights Caribbean, transatlantic, Barbados back to Southampton, uh, 9th of March, and you won't be able to do it. It's a last minute deal. Um, 7.99 is the lead price. Hang on, for nearly two weeks. Yeah. Thir I mean that's yeah, 7.99. Uh, it works out there under 65 pounds per person per night. And your flights, I'm just seeing there, your outbound flight. You've got a choice of Manchester and Birmingham there. Yeah, it, it's great. Oh, you, get, you get some some brilliant winter it's sun. I mean, I really need some winter sun. I think we all do. <laughs> the balcony is under a thousand pounds there as well. Yeah. For phenomenal. two weeks, nearly. absolutely phenomenal. Now that one, I'm not being funny, we, knew, we were promised it was something spectacular, it is. Jot down that ID number, this will sell really quickly tonight. 140884, you're away nearly two weeks, so you'll fly out of Costa Barbados, you'll stay at, you can see there's St. Lucia, Antigua, St. Martin, the Azores, and make your way slowly and beautifully back to Southampton. Does not get better than that, does it? Absolutely brilliant. And, no, and the, the great thing is, when you're in Southampton, you're like, I've got a long flight no. to go back on. And it's always nice here. to get the flight out the way at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah, and do you know what, from, from, from a secret insider point of view, Usually there's a big staff changeover at the end of this cruise, so the atmosphere with the crew, they're all right. looking forward yeah. to going home because, you know, they, they, they spend they some work, six yeah. months, and they work nine hard. months, and that just lifts. It is just this sort of That is going to be amazing, but you know what happens? When something sells really quickly, prices do go up, so get on the phone lines, I would say, straight away, if you can. Um, now, I, um, I put on Facebook earlier. What? What have you put on there? 
Not that picture of me in the changing room. <laughs> no, that's for next week. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> I just need to edit it first. But, um, no, we've got... Um, I, I, my, myself and my partner Jay and our, our best friends, we're thinking about doing a Morella cruise because I've not done one. Um, and the feedback we get from you uh, week after week is amazing. Um, and I think the things that are attracting me to Morella right now, I love entertainment, and you know, everyone raves about the entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone says the food and service is fantastic. I do like, um, I do like an all-inclusive. <laughs> It's all inclusive, this one as well. And it's got deposit starting as well from just a pound, obviously depending on dates as well. An amazing value. That's what everyone says about Morella. A bit of a quality. Quality of yeah. two Two words that I definitely associate with this and a great itinerary. Um, the actual ship itself, nice and small, 34,000 uh, tons, 1,700 passengers, and you've got everything that you need. So I tell you, if you're thinking about perhaps taking somebody on their first cruise, if you're watching the show a long time and not dipped your toe uh, into the ocean, just jump in both feet because this is going to be great. I mean, the ports that you're seeing on this particular cruise are fantastic. They are, actually. It's quite an unusual itinerary, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. but you're, you're floating hotel. You've got, um, uh, you've got Korola, which is a Pan-Asian restaurant. Then you've got the Terrace Grill, uh, where you can cook your own steak. You've got the Lido restaurant. You've got the Meridian as well. Great entertainment. I think, I think because you've got a smaller ship, there's a different atmosphere yeah. to it as well. And I do, I love the big ships, but I, I really, you know, the small ships I've been on, or the smaller ships, I should say, I, I've loved for very, very different reasons. Um, we, again, every time we feature Morel on the show, they do tend to be extremely popular. And the price that we've got tonight is, I think, that's so low, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it re really is, really is. And um, I know every week we, we get lots of regulars and we really appreciate you tuning in, but if you are new to the show or you've never been on a cruise, I think to... To go on a cruise like this, where you've got everything included, so all your tips, all your drinks, all your food, um, flights of course as well, you know that that week's only going to really cost you eight, less than £800. Pounds. You know, yeah. Unless you want to add on extras and things, but you don't really need to. And the one thing, I mean, people often say to me, you know, what, what do you love about cruising, Sean? And for me, just the obvious, seeing lots of different places in one holiday, but the standards that you get, and, you know, not being funny, but hotels are, I don't think, are anywhere near cruise ships in general. Because you Some hotels, so, but you're looking, but you're looking at, at premium, yeah. at premium hotels that are hundreds and, of pounds And you night. don't get the entertainment normally, no. you know? No. Anyway. <laughs> you're selling, you, 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 you're preaching to the no. converted. <laughs> Things, I'm not, I've not been on a cruise since last year, that's where I've Have you got withdrawal symptoms? I have. We'll get you booked. I was, we'll I mean, I was booked. in the process of moving house and things, but um, there's so many tonight that I'd love to book. Anyway, let's show you this one. Really nice night, isn't it? It's fantastic. You're flying out to Dubrovnik and you've got a, a nice relaxing day at sea, and then you're straight into your first port of call, which is Malta, Valletta. Valletta. Uh, head, head out to the Grand Master's Palace, go to the Medinas. It's just a great... I, I just love... Um, sitting on the after end of the ship and just looking at the harbour. It's absolutely stunning. Then we're off to Sicily. Um, we're actually going to uh, the port, which is the port for Mount Etna. So, oh, I mean, just quite literally, yeah. if you want to go and see it, it's Europe's I'd, I'd really like to do that, largest yeah. active volcano. Definitely worth doing that. Then we're off to Catalonia. Now, Catalonia, really rare that it features on an itinerary. Catalonia is a Greek island. It's absolutely stunning. Um, there's a cave there that was discovered 300 years ago after a, a, an earthquake. And the actual roof of the cave, there's, there's, there's a hole there. In fact, sorry, that's, a, that's, a, that's another one. There's one which is stalactites. The other one is a cave lake called Melisani. And the actual roof of the cave is in the shape of the island. How weird is that? It's just absolutely stunning. But really, really, really lovely island. Uh, then we're off to Brindisi, which is... Brindisi, you're, you're looking a little bit uh, perplexed. I'm thinking, well, I'm just thinking, have we had... Do you really? Se Second World War, this is actually the temporary capital of Italy. Yeah. I yeah. just don't there's, remember there's this a random this fact for, for you. Well, not for a long time. Not at all. I've never, never nah. seen this particular port. Then we're off to Montenegro. We're off to Kotor. It's a coastal town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Some fantastic seafood there as well. And definitely one, one of the highlights is going walking out to the St. Trifon's Cathedral, which goes back to the 11th uh, century. You're finishing off in Dubrovnik, and that wraps up your, your week in the Adriatic. And what a fantastic way to see it. Well, again, so, well, so much included on this one. So for less than £800, ladies and gents, uh, all-inclusive. And that does mean tips as well as your drinks, of course. Return flights, now, they're actually based on Bristol, which you realise, but we do have 
Uh, with Mirella, for me, Thompson, of course, we do have so many regional flights available as well. At, uh, just to supplement, again, just call for details. And if you do fancy extending your holiday, why not add on a three or even a seven night hotel stay in Dubrovnik as well? We'll give you the prices on this one because we've actually got prices for um, a variety of dates. Um, they're really good across all the dates there, but you know, even really peak season, we're still looking to the 18th of July just at 959 for the inside, the outside, uh, 995 there. We're already getting sell out, some of the deluxe balcony suites have sold out. But a big selection of dates, but they will go quickly, those. Mm. I, think that was, I think that's one of the best we've had from the valley, don't you? Yeah. But really unique itinerary yeah. on that. And if you like small ships, get it booked up. But, uh, Justin, I know that you've been very excited I about have. our next offer. And this isn't a cruise, is it, as such? <laughs> this, this is a luxury yacht experience. When you look at this particular vessel, you look at it and you go, which oligarch or billionaire lives on there? <laughs> you, uh, you, you do, because this is not a cruise ship. This is a ship or, or a yacht that only takes a maximum of 298 passengers with a crew of 246. She's been oh, in wow. production. Wow, almost one to one then. The, yeah. the actual ship itself got wet when, when it goes into the water last year, and it's not going to be ready until 2020. That's the level of detail that they go into the interior. But as soon as I say the, the brand name, The Ritz, does that ring a bell? Uh, it certainly does. So let me give you, this, this is actually the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection. But if you go back in time, Caesar Ritz was a hotelier. And his catchphrase, how he was known, was he was, he was the king of hoteliers and he was, it was the hotel of the kings. And that sums this up. He was, he was in charge of the Ritz Paris, the, uh, the, the Ritz in London, and also the Carlton in London. In the 1980s, it became Ritz Carlton. I was lucky enough to be spending time with some pretty senior people last week of the group that the Ritz Carlton is part of. And when they mentioned the Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection, I got very excited. The actual ship itself, the aft end, for me, is just to die for. If so I want... Can I... I've not seen this. Nobody's Have you not see seen this? Let, you've, right. Nobody would let me see it. Just, so go just on. sit back. Go. This is absolutely stunning. You're looking at a, a tonnage of 26,500 ton, eight decks, and, you know, you have your restaurants, you have your bars, but just take a look at the interior of this. Oh, my word. The interior that becomes the exterior. And when you look at the... When I say quality doesn't even come into this sort of price bracket, this is something else. For those of you that are looking for something truly unique, a once-in-a-lifetime experience, this is it. But I warn you, there's a caveat. If you cruise on this, this particular yacht and you're a, a guest, you'll find it very difficult to go anywhere else afterwards because... You know, I've been very lucky and a lot of my colleagues travel very well. I've got one colleague in particular who stays regularly with Ritz Carlton and the standard of their hotels is phenomenal. But when we go to the Ritz Carlton yacht collection, it's going up another level because this is, uh, this is a boutique experience. This is a luxury yacht experience. Look at the grand suite. Um, ask about the price. The price that you see there on the screen, yes, it is that. I'm not going to say that this is great value for money. I'm not going to say that this is, uh, uh, you know, cheap. It's not that. This is luxury, and this is an experience that that price tag certainly justifies. It's absolutely phenomenal. And the places that you go in on top of that is just something else. Now, it really is. maybe you've just reached a point in your life... Um, you know, some of my mum's friends now, they've got to an age and think, do you know what, they, they really want to live life to the full. Mm. You know, maybe you're celebrating a special wedding anniversary, a milestone birthday, or you've just never had an experience like that. Now, we understand, you know, some of you will think, I really, you know, I can't just book right now, I need to think about this. But I would say tonight, ring our crew specialists and they can talk you through. If you just want a bit more information, they will talk you through. And um, you can also, of course, spread the cost as well with Planet Cruise. But, uh, Jay, that took my breath away. I, I know we, we took a lot of time looking at the suites there, but just to take you through just yeah, the facilities yeah, on board. Of course, and on. I'm not talking, it's, this is chalk and cheese. You know, we were talking about Royal Caribbean earlier on with, with great facilities. You don't need it on this. This is absolute, it's ultimate luxury. Um, you've got the main dining room, 
Simple as that. You've got an Asian Fusion, which is a little bit more laid back. You've got Aqua, which is a three Michelin starred chef restaurant. Three. Just put that out there. There's the outdoor grill. So if I you love saw, your steaks yeah. and seafoods, then you can have that. You've got the Marina Lounge and Bar as well, which you can have lunch, breakfast, dinner. The Observation Lounge at the top, where you have live performances from classical performers and jazz artists. You've got the Living Room, which is a chic library. And in the evening, it becomes a cocktail bar with a pianist and a, 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 a piano bar. But then you've also got the Humidor as well. The Humidor is a beautiful lounge. And if you want to indulge in rich cognacs, and the best cigars than you can do. And I'm not promoting, you know, that, it, but you associate that with yeah. real luxury that you've got there. Um, you've also got a health and wellness program with a personal trainer that will also give you not only just personal training classes, but also give you nutritional advice as well. There is uh, yoga classes in the morning. Um, believe it or not, and it, Ritz Kids. So if you have children, if you want to take them, you can do. But if you're thinking, oh, if they've got kids, don't go on there. I think they're going to be um, pretty well educated yes. and pretty well behaved, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But yeah, as you said, almost one-to-one okay. -one ratio of staff and guests. There's no formal nights on board. The only thing that you have to know is 89 square feet per passenger. And the only stipulation is shirts and shoes are required throughout the yacht. Um... <laughs> Amazing. What a show we've had tonight. I mean, what variety. Anyway, um, you will be visiting some lovely ports as well. You Mary. haven't seen where we're going, <laughs> honestly. I know we this is just phenomenal. You, you started in Boston. Yeah. And then you've got an overnight on board. Just imagine stepping off of this. Ah, oh, you feel it. And everybody amazing. looking at it. It's just, you just feel like a, just a, a celebrity. Like, who's that guy? Um, so, Newport is your, your first port of call. I mean, this has just got history dripping. There's 200 structures that predate the American Revolution here. You've got a three and a half mile um, cliff walk, which is one of the most beautiful. You've got the super scenic sort of Ocean Drive and Bellevue Avenue as well. Um, a lot of colonial history that you've got here as well. Um, one of the best drinking holes is the White Horse Tavern. Apparently, it's been pouring pints since 16, uh, 1673, America's oldest pub and a meeting place of politicians and pirates. I'm just going to leave the comparison there. <laughs> um, there's also, I mean, Newport, I like you know, we're talking lobster shacks. Uh, so if you, you know, if you love your lobster or if you want to have a whole lobster or lobster cakes or lobster bisque, that's the place to go. But that's your first um, day, first overnight and the next day in port. And then we're off to the city. Not, the, not any city, but New York City. The city that never sleeps, and you are there for an, another overnight on board. Just imagine how you will feel the memory of sailing past the Statue of Liberty on this yacht, having an experience like this, and then having um, Central Park. And at that time of year, um, Central Park is beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Poets Walk, you've got there. You've there got you the go. John. We'll, we'll probably look like that there, yeah. Yeah. You've got the John Lennon tribute, the Imagine, because he just he lived just off of Central Park there as well. You've got Fifth Avenue, you've got Trump Tower, the Waldorf Astoria, um, Ghostbusters is the building, the fire station they come out of. Um, you've also got the High Line, it's an old railway line um, that has been converted to, to a walking path. There's some great bars there in a district called Hell's Kitchen. So you've got Bar Bacon, which every drink that they serve, they serve with a, a side of like crispy bacon, but indifferent, like chili bacon, melpa bacon. Oh, it's brilliant. Greenwich Village as well. Go to the village. You've got a great pizzeria down there. You've got the Enterprise, which is the old aircraft carrier where you've got NASA shuttles, the SR-17 Blackbird, Concord, F-14 Grumman Tomcats. I'm getting super geeky now. <laughs> Move on. And oh, hang on. I forgot Times Square. I mean, this is an awesome place to go. And you've got not just a day, not just a night, but you've got a day and night and day again. So just absolutely brilliant that you've got that there. Relaxing day at sea and a port that I've never been to myself. When I was reading about this, I was like, wow. I'd, I'd make sure I was fresh and I'd be taking loads of details and loads of photos. We're going to Charleston. So this has got some of the richest history. This is the, the, the location for the Boston Tea Party in 1773. You've got a church here that both George Washington and Robert E. Lee attended services at as well. Uh, you've got Battery Park, you've got Fort Sumner. It's just phenomenal. And you've actually got, was it here, there was one of the places where the um, Declaration of Independence was read for one of the first times. I can't remember if that was there or it might have been actually in Newport, but still what a great opportunity.
And should we just mix it up? Should we, with your luxury yacht experience, uh. we just go to the Bahamas and just go all James Bond? Yeah, we're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're going to go to Nassau. And again, I say about James Bond, but it's been the location for many a Bond film. The Ocean Club um, is it an actual and hotel that you can go to, and you can go to Atlantis and just enjoy the beaches. Well, let's just, uh, I mean, it's, it, we are out of time, sadly. No, we're not out of time. I'm going to keep on talking about this. Well, do you know I'm, <laughs> what I would say is, if you want to know more, we, we could, I, w I would love to talk all night, but give us a call and our cruise consultants will talk you through in more detail. But all inclusive, five star yacht experience unlike any other we've ever seen. Tonight, by the way, you will get an exclusive $250 on board uh, yacht credit per suite as well. Free UK transfers or airport parking or lounge. Again, we can talk through more detail. A uh, one night stay, hotel stay in Boston and return flights based on London. But that was amazing. Anyway, we'd better can move I, on. Can I finish this with just one caveat, one little caveat. You at home, you're going to be on a cruise. You're going to get off your, your ship and you're going to see that in the harbour or just out to sea. And you go, is that the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection? Seriously. Well, it was amazing, wasn't it? However, <laughs> we have got one final cruise what way to and finish stay to, uh, to finish with. And it's with Norwegian Cruise Lines on the Norwegian Star. Um, and this is, I think it's an amazing finish to the show. So let's first of all take you to Lake Garda because... Um, in fact, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, that, that was a little bit of the uh, cruise there. But yeah, let's so we start with Lake Garda, because you are at Lake Garda <laughs> for three nights yes. in a beautiful hotel. Now, I've never been to Lake Garda, but... I've not. Again, it's another James Bond location. I mean, it is just absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I mean, when you think of the celebrities and film stars and the names that live around the lakes, it, it's just unbelievable and it, it's, it's up there on, on a lot of people's bucket list oh, so I, I've got to do that definitely and to start there and then to have a stay in uh, two nights in Venice now Mestre itself where you're staying um, part of Mestre is actually the shipyard called Fincantieri which actually build a lot of the modern cruise ships so you may actually see oh, some of wow. the ships going in and out but while you're actually in Venice you go to the islands of Murano see how they make the glass there um, go on the Grand Canal perhaps go to the Rialto Bridge uh, or, or the square itself uh, definitely go to Hotel Danielli other hotels are available but it's just down by the Bridge of Size so right down in the centre get a gondola down there and they do the best Bellinis, I'm telling you now. Oh, it's an experience. Well. Really, really, really good. But that's, that's how you start your cruise. And that's the great, the great way that you, you know, another land journey before you get on your ship. Uh, and uh, let's take you on board. Now, I have cruised with Norwegian Cruise Lines a couple of times. I uh, think they're amazing. And she's been reintroduced to Norwegian Star. Yeah, you could she? just hear her in what yeah. they call dry dock. And so I mean, this is the level that they go to, and it's terrible. When you think about all of that beautiful marble and travertine floor, all comes up, all going down for you. So here she is, she was in dry dock. 18 days, it said there, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so much has been done. You can see here, I mean, she has been completely transformed. It's amazing that they can do so much in 18 days, isn't it? Well, there is 18, oh, there 1,800 <laughs> people on board. And I, I, if I, my I'm memory serves me it. correct, on some quick turnarounds like this, they work almost in shifts just, just through the night. Just look at some of the before and afters here, though. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's night and day, absolute night and day. I mean, look at the venues like uh, the look, Bistro. Yeah. So, I mean, she is going to be absolutely stunning so i'm fascinated about this yeah tepanaki yeah you, hibashi oh gotta love it gotta love it she looks like a brand new ultra luxurious ship doesn't i know you see this is the thing a lot of people think when it's been reintroduced or reimagined or or refurbished they're like oh it's just a lick of paint have you seen the detail oh, that right. go there anyway uh we we sell out of venice we go to Coto montenegro we touched on that earlier on um and then we're off to corfu now this, what a fantastic island, Corfu, it's the birthplace of Prince Philip, you've got the Monrepas Villa, you've got the Achillean Palace as well, um, plenty to see and do. Then we're off to Santorini, so historically they reckon that uh, Atlantis was, was here, uh, but Santorini just on the, the edge of this dormant volcano, and it's quintessentially the, the Greek postcards oh, that everybody loves. Absolutely just, beautiful. 
Yeah, it's yeah, really, really good day. Then we're off to Mykonos. Uh, and of course, Mykonos, oh. you've got a completely different vibe, different feel there. So in the daytime, have a little bit of a wander around all the little small little streets and avenues. Have a little cocktail looking out to sea. Uh, then we're off to Catalonia. We touched on this earlier on. Lovely island. And then you're finishing up in Dubrovnik. Now, we didn't talk about Dubrovnik earlier on. It's a walled city. Absolutely stunning. You can actually walk the wall. I would recommend taking some water if it's a particularly hot day. You've got the lovely little harbour, some great little restaurants down there, but really unusual gift shops that you've got. There was um, a, a wax candle gift shop in there, and you can get any candle in any shape and any colour. It's just fantastic. Really, really great day out. And because it's a walled city as well, for pedestrians, it's perfect. God. Um, and then uh, finishing Venice, of yes, course. Disembarkation yes, disembarkation port, yeah. Uh, so, um, again, so much included on this one. So you've got that uh, a wonderful three-night Lake Garda and the two-night Venice uh, hotel stay as well. Lots of on-board uh, spend as well, up to $500. Now, this is premium all-inclusive. So the cruise is premium all-inclusive. That means premium drinks and tips and Wi-Fi and return flights. Uh, from London there and your train to Venice and selected transfers are included on that one as well. And uh, an amazing deal. So price-wise, uh, we've got a huge amount of dates there starting off in, uh, in May of this year. But um, the lead date and price there is October the 19th. Now, I did mention premium all-inclusive on this one as well. Why do I always do the drinks? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it is, when you go premium all-inclusive with Norwegian Cruise Lines, it is amazing. Such a huge range of branded beverages, specialty coffees, uh, service charges and gratuities, Wi-Fi there, six minutes Wi-Fi, and award-winning entertainment. But let's just, uh, we are nearly out of time. So let's just remind you of everything that we've had. We started with MSC Maiden Voyage on this one. Yeah, fantastic wow. itinerary as well. You can either do the, the five nights or extend it to Barcelona or Genoa. Ask your cruise specialist with this. You can upgrade to all-inclusive from as little as £10 per person per night on that one. Get it booked. It's ID number 177367. Uh, very exciting, that one. Start the show. And, and then we had the lovely Moira from Cruise and Maritime. She's got us amazing prices on this. Don't forget the single special. Start Starting out from just 999. The first 10 bookings tonight will receive the cruise and maritime teddy bear as well. It's a wind flash promotion, so you have to book by the 7th of February. That's Thursday. The price, I think Morris said, will go up 15% after that. So really great deal tonight. And a deposit starting from just a pound there as well. Fly, uh, no cruise. And uh, no fly cruise round from Tilbury. <laughs> <laughs> you do that cruise, you don't get the flight. Um, and then, what? Well, oh, it's Quantum of the Seas, wasn't it? Yeah, and of course, you're celebrating Chinese New Year next year. So it's going to be yes. the Year of the Rats next year, by the way. Oh. Um, you're starting off with a five-night hotel stay in Singapore with tours included. So you get Gardens by the Bay, you get the River Festival and the Chinese New Year Festival as well, and so much more breakfast, lunch, and, uh, and evening meals included, and then a cruise as well on that one. That is just phenomenal. That's ID number 205112. Well, it doesn't get better than the next one in terms of value, all inclusive from Morella. They're always top sellers, brilliant itinerary. So that's drinks, tips, the whole lot for under 800 pounds. This one will fly tonight. So book it as soon as possible because prices can go up, don't forget. Uh, return flights based on Bristol, but we've got regionals available as well. ID number 177702, but do it tonight. I'll warn you on that one, it will be, I'm sure, a top seller then, oh my word. Yeah, one of the most recognisable premium hotel names. There are 91 luxury hotels in the world. Uh, we're talking Ritz-Carlton, but this is the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection, your opportunity to be special yeah. only 300 passengers and let's just say five star and a vessel that you will just I, I, i'm out of words I, I i love that i really do and then finally we've just seen it that amazing deal with the region cruise lines look at the itinerary the 12 night uh, lake garda stay with the greek isles and adriatic there from venice um and so many extras there, premium all inclusive, that's drinks, tips, Wi Fi, up to $500 on board spend as well. 204 765 is the ID number. Don't forget that um, the PO as well. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, the deal, but um, also, if you're watching next week and you're a PO fan, oh, there yeah. may be something. Um, our, our executive producer, Kat, has actually signed a non disclosure agreement saying that she can't yes. state what it is. 
but not they, can I. But there may be some really exciting news. So don't forget that deal we had there for under £1,000 with P&O. We will see you next Tuesday, next Tuesday with Planet Cruise. See you soon. Hi all, thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content like this, then click on the videos to the right, it'll be really informative, or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for more fantastic deals.